Just another manic Monday. Ah, wish it was Sunday. We need another fun day. Hello, everybody. It's a manic Monday. How are you guys doing? And yes, you see Make America Great Again and Orange Man Good. So let's talk, shall we? Let's talk about Joe Biden. You guys need to realize we're about to have the 2012 election again. That's the playbook they're going to run. They're going to try to put together the Obama coalition 2012. Blacks, Latinos, all minorities, Asians, white suburban women, and they're going to try to be that to beat the Republican Party. Because they're going to come and they're going to be telling um, people, oh, you got a problem with a black woman. You don't think a black woman can do it. That's how they're going to try to get white suburban women to look at their finances and say, that's not important. We got to make history. And as for black conservatives, we are about to catch hell like never before. They are going to come out the black conservatives with the most racist stuff we've ever seen. But if you like me, I'm ready for it because I've been pissed off for four years so I can deal with you. You ain't nothing but cool. You a sellout. You hunger. All that stuff. I'm ready. I'm ready and I'm ready to give it back to them, especially black church folk. Oh, I'm ready for you. Cause this woman is openly saying she's running and she's making sure she make abortion the central issue. She wants to make sure abortion is there. That's what she wants. That's what she wants. She wants to make sure abortion, you can baby to abort as many children as you want. Now I want to see the black church defend that. But you know what they're going to say? She really don't mean it. That's the same excuse black church you told about Obama. He really don't mean it about gay marriage. He just trying to, you know, get people to vote for him. And black folk, you standing there with egg on your face. Looking like a bunch of starch tail monkeys and dried up fools. Oh my God, you call black people monkeys. Nope, that's an old saying. Looking like a starch tail monkey and a dried up fool. You get offended, I don't care. This is, this is, this was a coup. We really just watched donors take out a sitting president. We watched people determine other than the voters, who's going to vote. Even if you didn't like Joe Biden, I hated Joe Biden. I despise Joe Biden. I despise that man. But the people have already voted for him. The people have already voted for him. Now, donors have decided who runs the Democrat Party. Don't talk to me about big money. Because you know what? The Koch brothers have not supported Donald Trump yet. The mean old evil Koch brothers have yet to support Donald Trump. Well, one of the Koch brothers, his other one did. But Democrats, uh, uh, uh. The donor money dried up. So Joe Biden need to go. What? And that needs to be played over and over and over. This is not a good thing. One, because the press gets away with it. This was a cover up. Do you realize they covered up for this man? This man didn't just start having bad days after the debate. He was having them way before then. And they covered him up. They covered it up. The American people have been duped. No. Some of the American people knew it, but they didn't care just as long if it wasn't Trump. And they purposely target the people who knew it and said something about it. So that makes them co-conspirators. That makes them just as accomplices. The media, the Democrats in power, Kamala Harris, all of them are accomplices to deceive the American people who didn't pay attention to politics, 
to lie and smear the people who did pay attention to politics. And then set all this up like it's a surprise. They been knew this was going to happen. I'm sorry. I think Joe Biden Ben was going to um, do this. Everybody lined up to drop, what, 50 million to Kamala Harris in less than 12 hours. Everybody coming speeches. Now the delegates are saying, oh, we're going to vote. Democrats know how to take the system and use it for their advantage and their power. While Republicans keep trying to uphold and keep the things that the Democrat Party have corrupted to use against us. There need to be not one Republican yelling freedom of the press. I'm sorry. That has been done away with. You know, all these mass shootings and people say, oh, my gosh, we need, we need common sense gun control. We need common sense gun control. What about mass deception? Is mass deception dangerous and should not they be convicted? Shouldn't they not have everything they wanted taken away? Should they not? Mass deception is real and it happened to us. Should not something be done? And one thing about Israel, Israel ain't backing down. Israel don't care. I think Israel has finally figured it out. They can no longer depend on who's the president. They have to depend on what's best for Israel and being where they're depending on what's best for Israel. That's a good thing. That's how it should be.